So I wonder if Richard Branson really got what he paid for. I have no idea how many of his billions of dollars he's invested into Virgin Galactic, his space tourism company, but he did. He and five crewmates actually went over the New Mexico desert, 43 point, I'm I'm sorry, 53.5 miles up. I mean, that's awesome. Can I get in trouble? I don't know. I'm nervous. I kind of like it like that. Let me just pause. I'm have a dramatic pause here so that you can be nervous for a little while. How come nobody's saying, do you know how many people you could feed with that money, Richard? How come we're not hearing that? Oh, I'm sure somebody's saying it. I, I haven't seen that anywhere. I haven't seen it anywhere. Hmm. I'm just asking. Like, he spent billions of dollars to build a personal airplane that can fly in orbit and benefits but, but no one. I think ultimately it is for the greater good. When we overpopulate the Earth, everybody can go to Mars and live oh. there. So that's why it's okay. okay. Right. I just was asking. It just kind of popped in my head like, wait a minute. When you hear somebody spent their own money on something, it's a lot. Usually somebody says, but you could have done so much good with that money. But ultimately he'll save the Earth. By okay. All right, Mars. You're probably right. Uh, now I gotta wonder. <laughs> this has been so much fun watching the billionaires battle against one another. I mean, okay, Branson says no, I didn't really move it up because Bezos is going into space uh, this week. I moved it up because I uh, wanted to uh, wanted to move it up. Yeah, that's why I did it. But then, so so yesterday was very nice because Jeff Bezos officially congratulated him. It's amazing. You know, he did. He said, I, I want to join the club, but I'm wondering if maybe he's had second thoughts and is saying, you know, I am Jeff Bezos. I am Jeff Bezos. See? I grow ever more weary of the weak accolades my rival Richard Branson has received for his pseudo space flight. Big freaking deal. It was suborbital. Okay. He experienced Three whole minutes of weightlessness? Ooh, we're so impressed. But guess what? When I blast off, I'm going full orbital, baby, all the way past the Carmen line, which is internationally recognized as the threshold of space. You came up short, you limey loser. Kind of like your country's soccer team. There's a reason Branson calls it Virgin Galactic, because when it comes to being galactic, He's still a virgin.